My name is Gagan Kaur, Warrant Officer First Class. I just remember the first night that I stepped onto the parade square, the first night I was in cadets, I just really wanted to succeed. Um, and I, through the years I carved out my own terms for what success meant. Um, and I, after seven years I think I've uh, achieved quite a bit. My goal is to make sure that you come, come from your starting point and you end and finish off with a well-developed plan. DC is really growing uh, the most across the country right now. Although the diversity, uh, the gender diversity certainly wasn't split 50-50 then, um, we saw a lot of girls holding you know, some of those senior leadership positions and I think we mirror that today. And I think it's even stronger now because we do see more and more girls joining the program. Yeah, the, the idea of, of gelling your hair, of getting your boots ready, of, of spending hours meticulously going over your uniform, it doesn't really sound, in theory, like something a cadet would like to do or something any teen would like to do. Um, but as you progress through the, the community, it's, it's a part of cadet culture. Um, cadets want to make sure that they have their boots polished. It's not cool. Um, to not have your hair gelled properly. So all of these things that we kind of associate with, you know, apathetic uh, teenagers that, you know, really just don't want to engage. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm living proof that there's a bigger community out there, um, and so are my cadets. My parents love it. They think it's very disciplined. Uh, it keeps kids off the streets. Uh, like, uh, it take, keeps you away from dr drugs and stuff, and uh, keeps you away from violence. Uh, I mean, high school, there's a lot of bullying, and here we're a very close-knit family. Um, it's more of like, you know, we have more friends here, you know, and in high school, it's di it's a different environment. I think a lot of people have um, a mistaken view that this is a, a recruiting tool, tool for the Canadian Forces, but realistically, we just want them to be good citizens. Without that program, without these this kind of public program, uh, I don't think they would have been able to give me the same opportunities. I mean, they were immigrant parents, um, working a lot, uh, working really hard <laughs> all the time. Um, the decision to put us in cadets made all the difference because we both did find a sense of community um, and we both did kind of explore what it meant to be Canadian. Um, and, and for that I'm forever grateful as well. I don't think they ever expected us uh, to come this far and to continue our prospects after we leave the program to actually want to stay engaged with our community and, and uh, come back and help more cadets.